Hey, hey there, Frailers. Well, I've got what is, to me, a very sentimental favorite. Um, some people might find this song a little corny, but that's okay. Um, I actually, I get a lot of people who like this song and ask about it, and uh, it's really not a terribly difficult song to play on uh, for Frailing Banjo. It's actually, there are a couple of tricky things in it. Uh, I'm simplifying one aspect of it. Um, in the song Rainbow Connection, which I'm about to do, is uh, the song actually modulates. And when we say modulates, what that means is it actually it changes key. The um, song most of the way through is in the key of G, but there's a, a bridge, and a bridge is just a short little section of music that um, it's a little different from either the chorus or the verse and takes the song in another direction. Um, and in this case, what the bridge normally does is it works its way up and it changes the key from the key of G to the key of G sharp. Um, key of G sharp is not a real banjo friendly key. Uh, you can certainly play things in G sharp, but it's it's tricky. So I'm I'm eliminating that. I'm going to eliminate that modulation when I play it, and then I'll I'll kind of talk about it a little bit afterwards, but. Uh, in any event, you, you won't have, if you were to learn from this and then try to play along with the record for the first two-thirds of the way through, everything would be fine, and all of a sudden you would find that the song was in a different key than you're playing in. So, but nevertheless, let's give this a shot. There's so many songs about rainbows What's on the other side? Rainbows are visions But only illusions Rainbows have nothing to hide So we've been told And some choose to believe it I know the wrong way to see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Who said that every wish would be heard and be answered? When wished on the morning star Somebody thought of that And someone believed it Look what it's done so far What's so amazing That keeps us stargazing What do we think we might see Now, 
I grew up in New York City, and that's where the Muppet headquarters and the Muppet shop were. And uh, when I was a little kid, when I was about 12 or 13, my mother actually knew somebody who worked for the Muppets. And uh, he brought me over to the workshop and actually met Jim Henson just very briefly. So uh, I was very interested in puppets at that point in my life. And so the Muppets had a special place for me. And uh, that song's actually had a very special place in my heart. And I have to admit, when singing it, I have I actually have trouble not falling into sounding trying to imitate Kermit. <laughs> Why are there so many songs about rainbow? Anyway, so, so, possibly one of the trickier parts in the song is actually just that little bit of the introduction because it's not technically speaking a true frailing strum. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of dragging my finger finger down like. So what I'm going is I'm starting out in an open G. And so then I'm hammering down on a D7. So it's... So you can kind of go into the... So it's a little bit of a variation on the trailing strum. But instead of doing the straight strike, strum, thumb, you're doing a kind of a strike, 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 strike. Now the whole song, for the most part, is, well, not even for the most part, the whole song is in three-quarter time, waltz time. But so after that little introduction is done twice, then it goes into the main verse, of the first verse, and it's G, Y, R, there, and then it goes to E minor, so many, and then it goes to C, songs about, and it goes to D, rainbows, and back to G. What's on the back to E minor, other C. So that's the main verse, and that verse's pattern is repeated for every verse. And then it goes into same thing, rainbows are visions, C, only illusions. Back to G, rainbows, E minor, nothing to hide, C. Now this, this is part of the chorus, or kind of an intro into the chorus, so it goes, at that point we're doing an A minor. So if you remember the A minor, so it's, so what we've been told, and some choose to believe it. Now if you remember, the A minor is a movable chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the A minor and slide right up to a B minor. So it's been told and some choose to believe it. Slide up. I know the wrong way to see. And then it goes into the true chorus. That's sort of a pre-chorus. And that goes back to C. Someday. And it goes to D. We'll find it. So, sorry, not C, it goes A minor, someday we'll find it to D, to that B minor again, the rainbow. Now this is, you have a choice here. This is going to an E. Connection. Now the two ways to play an E, well, there are more than two, but the two I'm talking about are, you can play an E down here, it's almost the same thing as a C, except instead of having your first finger on the second string, it's actually on the third string. So, 
but you can also play the E by sliding your D up two frets, and that's also an E. So what I like to do when playing this is I go, I'll kind of alternate the pattern. So it's A minor to D, B minor to E, and it goes back to C. Lovers to D, dreamers and me. Now that's pretty, that's a little tricky for you, so you, you know, you're going to have to practice that a little, but it's one day you'll find the rainbow connection. Now I find that easier than trying to drop back and do it over here, but you could do it that way too. You could also go, someday you'll find it, the rainbow connection. Now you may want to, when you're hitting an E, the fifth string G clanks a little bit against that, so you may want to try to just not hit that G so hard, you know, just... So it's... Someday you'll find it, the rainbow connection. The love back to C, there's the dreamers and me. And then does the intro riff again. And then it goes into the second verse in the second chorus. So it's the, uh, once again, we're going, who said that every wish E minor would be heard? Who said that every wish would be heard? C and be answered, so it's G, E minor, C and D, G minor, C. And then it goes to somebody thought of that G to E minor again, thought of that to C, someone believed D. Look what it's, that's G, what it's done, E minor, so far. Just stay on the C for a minute. Now it goes back to that little pre-chorus I told you about, and that's the, that's the A minor again. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? What do we think we might see? And then back down. A minor, someday to D, we'll find it. Back to B minor, the rainbow connection. That's that E or down here, connection. Back to C, the lovers, D, the dreamers, and me. Now this is what we call, what I was mentioning before, this is called uh, it's a bridge. It's a very short bridge, but it goes into... D, all of a sun, E minor, under its spell, to G, and then to C, we know that it's probably, back to C, magic. Now in the original recording, what that actually does is they use that as a, a way to transition into modulating up into a G sharp. So it would actually go all of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. And then all of a sudden you're finding you're having to play Have you been half asleep? And have you heard the voice voice Anyway, it gets a little more complicated and it would take a lot more practice to to get into that. And also the G suddenly you're gonna find yourself having to alter your frailing strum because that G string, the high G string doesn't really just does not work when you're trying to play chords in in the key of G sharp so we're gonna keep it in G <laughs> anyway so we're saying all of us under its spell we know that it's probably magic so D 
D, E minor, G, C, 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 G, C, D. And it goes back to have. Have you been half asleep? So G, E minor, C, D, G, B e minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D, G, B e minor, C, and it stays on C. Then it goes to that a minor again. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. And then it goes up to B minor. It's something I'm supposed to be. Back down to A minor. Someday to D we'll find it to B minor. The rainbow to E. Connection Back to C, the lovers, to D and B. And at the end, so it's the lovers, the lovers, C, to D and G. And then, and then it goes back to, to C, la de da E minor. Uh, G. Uh, A minor, A minor. Oops. A minor, D, G. So I know that's a little more complicated than most of the songs I cover on here, but if you work at it, I think you'll find it's worth it. Um, kids love this song. A lot of adults really still love this song. I still like this song. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to post the chords, but I'm also going to, for this one, because they're, it's more complicated, I'm actually going to post the, uh, the chords with the lyrics for this one, and hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Just remember that intro riff. It's the G. And then you kind of hammer down with the D7. right into the song. You guys have some fun and uh, maybe next week we'll do an Irish song. Have a good week. Bye.